the most quickest way to anything that I've shared, but to discover that in your own direct experience, to gain the world and whatever is beyond the world as your own realization. It's very, very crucial that you always check in, that you always discriminate with what resonates for you. What feels like it is a natural next step for you that is absolutely important. Even if it seems to be something that I may have termed illusory or not important or whatever way you've interpreted anything that I've said, don't let anything that I say stop you. Okay, very, very important. Very important. It's more important than this retreat. It's that you honor the natural progression of your evolution. Because if you utilize your inferiority complex, and we all have an inferiority complex, if you are born on this planet, if you utilize that to look up to somebody else and to use their words as an authority regarding your own experience, then you're making a grave misstep. You're doing yourself a disservice. And I know it's very tempting that if there's somebody here on stage that seems to know what they're talking about and that guides you through these realizations and that offers you these reflections and that you may be existentially grateful for on a certain level. I know from experience and from experience with being a teacher and just from my own experience with idolizing sources that I regard to as being more awake or more information, having more information than myself, I know how easy it is to doubt your own path based on what you've read. Oh, but that does not compute with how I do things or what I've experienced. Oh, I must not be there yet. Oh, I must not be this yet. Oh, I must not get it yet. I urge you to realize that all levels of reality exist simultaneously. That timelessness, permanence, nor foreverness is not in a hurry. It's not worried. Yes, it invites you home. Yes, you can always find somewhere in your being this tug back home back into source, back into closer and closer to infinity, lessening that distortion of your frequency as opposed to the frequency that is the unconditional love of creation, of presence, and awareness, and home, infinity, beyondness, the one. But the most effective, quickest way to go about this, the direct path, is that of your own resonance. It's really, under, really, really important that you understand this as a mechanism, that you understand that as soon as you take my words or anyone else's words, to somehow be a greater authority than your own natural state, wherever you're at, your own natural evolution, and your own natural intuitive guidance that you can always ask upon, call for. The moment you make that assumption, and maybe you already have that assumption unconsciously, and maybe you're already using my words in that way, but then I urge you to see, to realize, mechanically, if not personally possible for you, if you are a devotional creature, if you are, if you do tend to put other people and other sources of information on a pedestal, and we all, again, have this tendency to some extent, some just have it more, in a more prolific way than others, but we all have this to a certain extent, so be mindful of that. Realize that all that I'm sharing is not coming from this body. It's not coming from this mind. It's not coming from even my experiences with life. This information was already available. This teaching was already available before I was even born. You are just utilizing me as a permission slip, as a mouth to speak to you so that you can maybe intellectually understand and, oh, put some structure to your spirituality and then feel more confident with where you're at and where you're going and Feel good about your spiritual journey. Feel clear instead of confused. Like you're finding, finding, finding instead of seeking, seeking, seeking. But the information is not coming from my brain. I have a brain the size of the Empire State Building. I know my head is fairly big, but it's not that large. So the information is universal, you see? Everything that I've shared is my version of having gone through all the things I've gone through and experienced firsthand. But it's available. It's not coming from this. It's not. It's just being channeled through this. It's just being relayed. It's just being verbalized. Just like the hand does not come up with 
whatever novel you are writing. The brain comes up with that novel, or you, or whatever your mind. Your hand is just an instrument. Similarly, my mind and my body and my energy field are instruments to relay to you the information that exists as your very own being, to make it more digestible for you for a period of time until you no longer need that, for you to have some conscious interaction with that information. But in a very, very real sense, you're using me simply as a way to put a mouth and a face to your higher self, to your own source of information. Does that make sense? Can you appreciate that? Can you acknowledge that? Can you leave it be free for me? Realize I'm just a messenger. I am also that field which is the information. I am also infinity. And this instrument is pretty clear on that. It has been aligned to that information, to that frequency. So I'm not saying that my presence, my energy, and my words and my intellect may not be of assistance, may not be helpful, may not be something you can pluck from and draw from. But realize that really what you're tapping into has nothing to do with this body, this mind, my name, my history, my biography. It does not come from these places. It's not interesting where it comes from. What's interesting is the information, whether it resonates or not, and how you can add what is your own to that information, how you can make it your own. That's interesting. That is the direct path. Sure, if you hear me speak about a direct path, and you recognize in your own past experience that maybe you've gone about it in a bit of a roundabout way. You've been circling around the mountain instead of going straight up. And I'm sharing with you that perhaps the method you've been applying and believing was helpful may be replaced by a certain different kind of method that is more direct in my experience and my experience of other people. But even then, still check in with yourself if that is true for you. And if it is true for you, then great. But the most direct path, energetically speaking, is you listening to yourself, all right?